According to PISA studies, Finnish students have ranked very high in science, math and reading. Finland is the best achieving European country in all these three domains. In reading and science, we have always scored among the top three countries. The classroom climate in Finland is very exceptional. We have more noise in our classrooms than, for example, in the Asian countries in Japan or in China. In this figure, we can see that Japan has very quiet classrooms. And Finland is here on the bottom, meaning that we have a lot of noise. This can be explained by the nature of our classrooms. We have a democratic classroom climate and we are getting good learning results in Finland. The goal of teacher education is to educate pedagogically thinking teachers who can reflect on their own work and who can see their role in the Finnish society. We educate ethical professionals who contribute to the holistic development of their students. In Finland, we can select our teachers from a very motivated and well-achieving student population. This is a big difference compared to some other countries, for example, to the United States. If you look at the admission rates at the University of Helsinki during the last 10 years, we can see that it has been more difficult to get into the class teacher education than to the faculties of law or medicine. The admission rates to class teacher education has been around 5 to 7 percent, when in law it has been around 12 to 17 percent, and in medicine 11 to 20 percent. In addition to academic achievement, we look at some other qualities from our teachers. We look at social skills, communication skills, and also how the teachers see their own profession. Teaching at the Department of Teacher Education is research-based. This means that we teach what we research, and we research what we teach. After master's degree in education, our teachers have the skills to continue in the doctoral program. Even though our teachers graduate with master's degree and we educate them for lifelong learning, they need support, they need in-service training. For example, teachers need to update their knowledge and their skills, how to use modern information technology in classroom and how to promote student learning with the help of new technologies. <laughs>